Today I come to you in the capacity of a live life claimant, also a grammar tutor because I, I wear that badge 24-7, and just as a peaceful and neutral vessel. Um, this is a just a public broadcast to share with you something disturbing that was brought to my attention yesterday. A friend of mine, to paraphrase, sent me a screenshot of something that they found on a public Facebook forum. And indeed, after wading through the grammar of what was written, this entity was indeed, this stranger was indeed asking for my personal private address in a public internet forum. I see the person's name in the post, However, I have never personally spoken with this person, not on a phone, not on a face-to-face -face video consultation, nothing like that. And yet, here they are. They know what I look like because obviously I make videos and I'm out in the public and I specifically leave one venue of communication, my email vessel of which I am the vessel commander. That's open to anybody who wants to come in and contract with me, which would open up other avenues for other contract possibilities if they comply with the terms and conditions. However, this person has gone out into the public and begun asking other people to provide my private home address, which I find disturbing. It's very stalkerish, it's creepy, and it's harassment because I don't know this fellow. I don't know what he has in mind. I mean, I don't know what anyone else thinks because I can only make claims for myself. But as far as, as I put myself out there, my terms and conditions for contracting, this violates the terms and conditions of my vessel construct. It violates the peace and neutrality. It violates the honor and the grace and it violates the rule one rule equal. So in the remainder of this video, I'm going to look at, pull the screenshot up, and look at what is being said, and uh, go into some other points about it. So let's take a look at the grammar here. For the location find of the Jason Matthew Glass location is with the command of this postmaster claimant by the Russell J. Gould period. So we have for the, which is the cause, we have of the, which is the concern, then we have the verb, then we have possessive with the, then we have concern of this, but then we have an authority. So we have a concern next to an authority, which is a violation of the correct sentence structure sequencing rules. Because it's supposed to go for, of, verb, with, of, with, of, with, by which it does not do here, or for a verb with of with by. So that is not correct. That is void. And it looks like when you're looking at the possessive and the concern and the authority, Russell J. Gould is the authority of this claim, this sentence, this claim. But then when you read it backwards, he's the cause. And then postmaster claim, it becomes the possessive. So the postmaster claimant, whoever that is, is possessive of Russell J. Gould. So the next sentence, for the help in this mission completion is with this plea of the citizens with this message by this claimant. So let's read that backwards. For this claimant of this message, okay, that makes sense, is with the citizens of this plea. So he's saying that the citizens are making a plea. Either which way, forwards or backwards, if it's with this plea of the citizens, the possessive is plea, and the, and the plea is concerned with the citizens. You read it backwards. Citizens becomes the possessive, and they are concerned with the plea. So he's making a claim for the citizens. And then we have in this mission completion. So backwards, what would that be? Out this mission completion by the help, which I have no idea what that means. Next sentence. For the correct claim of the Jason Matthew Glass. Okay, so he's making a claim for someone else. He's making a claim for me. 
is with the vacant quest and communication of this matter with the stand down by the Russell J. Gould. <laughs> so backwards, that would be for the Russell J. Gould of the stand down. Now, think about that for a minute, folks. He's saying that Russell J. Gould is standing down. Is with this matter of the vacant quest and communication. So Russell J. Gould is standing down, possessive of this matter, concerned with the vacant quest and communication. So there's no quest or no communication. With the Jason Matthew Glass, I agree by the correct claim. So as far as the last part of the claim, the stand down of Russell J. Gould, I have no idea about that. That's this Gordon Michael Schiller's claim. He's claiming that Russell's standing down in this post here. But as far as the rest, yes, there is vacant communication with me. Because there has been no correct communication, no contract, no nothing. For the wrong syntax teachings of the Jason Matthew Glass, okay, now uh, the cause is the wrong syntax teachings, and, the, and they're concerned with Jason Matthew Glass, are with the stand-down command of the physical hard copy requirement and of the void with an email by the commander. So for the commander of an email, so he's making a claim for the commander, whoever the commander is, and it's concerned with an email, is with the physical hard copy requirement and with the void. So again, we have the void in here. There's nothing going on because he's voided it with the word void. Of the stand down command. Oh, it's void of the stand down command. So there's a, the stand down command has been voided with the Jason Matthew Glass by the wrong syntax teachings. So the authority of all of his sentence here is the wrong syntax teachings concerned with me. And I'll definitely be in agree agreement with that after looking at the grammar in this sentence and the rest of the sentences. There's definitely uh, some incorrect syntax being used here, as is clear by this evidence. Then we have, for the closure of the data is with the quest of a private communication closure with the privacy honor by the claimant. For the claimant of the privacy hyphen honor. Privacy is no contract, by the way. PRI is no contract. It means no is with a private communication closure of the quest with the data by the closure. So the data is on its own quest, I guess, according to this. And its authority is the closure, of which we have none, in this communication here, which, again, I don't know. I've never met this person. And they're out here asking for my private address. In the public and I'll put some closing remarks on here in a second in brief what I've done here is I've written one of the sentences I've chosen one sentence out of that screenshot that I showed you and written it out backwards because correct sentence structure can be written forwards and backwards and if it it should mean the same thing forwards as it does backwards so here we have, for the Russell J. Gould, which would be the cause now of the claim. What is the cause concerned with? Of the stand down. So basically, this claim is claiming that Russell J. Gould is standing down. Then we put the verb in, is. What is possessive of the stand down? This matter. And what is the matter concerned with? The vacant quest and communication. So the matter is, is, there's no quest, there's no communication. What is possessive of this quest? Jason Matthew Glass. So Jason Matthew Glass is with no quest and no communication. However, the authority is the correct claim. So this is a possessive. Jason Matthew Glass is possessing the correct claim. And if we read it the way he wrote it, originally it would be for the correct claim of the Jason Matthew Glass. So correct claim becomes the cause. Jason Matthew Glass becomes the concern. I am concerned with the correct claim. And then we put our verb in, is. With the vacant quest in communication. So this is possessive 
of this, Jason Matthew Glass, and it's concerned with what? This matter. And what is this matter? What is possessive of this matter? The stand down. And who is the authority of standing down? This. So Russell J. Gould is standing down. Jason Matthew Glass has no quest and no communication, and yet Jason Matthew Glass has a correct claim. According to this grammar written in that screenshot. So this is what is being said here. Just one out of those several sentences. And that is my function as a grammar tutor is to show these things. And also, also, as you see, there are names being used here. Where is the certification and authorization of the author of this? Where is his certification and authorization to speak for and make claims for anyone else, including this entity and this entity? Does he have authorization? If so, where is it? Is everyone just supposed to assume and presume that someone they've never seen has the authority to command someone to do something else or that they have the authority to ask for someone's private home address. Well, not with this grammar anyways, but again, it's very creepy, it's disturbing, it's stalkerish, and it is harassment. In closing, I'd like to state that the very term itself, stand down, is a military term. And as I've shown in other videos, which I'll leave a link to up here, I have vacated all military contracts. So therefore, I have no contract with that terminology or that modality of thinking and navigation. I am peaceful and neutral. There is no authority over me. I do not consent to any authority over me. My loyalty is to the correctness. Knowledge is the authority coming from my port of sensation of which I am the port authority of. I have all of these claims in correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. All of the grammar claims that I have and that I teach, the closure of the why and the how is available on this YouTube channel. Is there anywhere else where such closure is available to all the grammar mechanics that I share to the public? If there is, I don't know the location. Now, if anyone has any grammar questions about the grammar portion of this video, feel free to contact me in the confidential at my email address, my email Vessel, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. The terms and conditions of that vessel are that it's a peaceful, neutral vessel with the performance of the balance of the honor and the grace by the vessel commander and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal, which would be maintained for the continuity of the evidence if need be, I will schedule a very brief consultation to give closure on any grammar uh, topics that I discuss. Anything else is personal and is not on the table because I am not affiliated with, nor do I have contracts with, any other contract party in the public. Just want to make that clear. Thank you very much for watching.